Okay, I think something went wrong with the um, volume, so I'm going to just try and talk you through it. Today we're making uh, a beautiful pasta dish, uh, wild garlic and cherry tomatoes, nice and simple. I've made some duck egg pasta. You can use shop bought pasta if you want, but it cooks a lot slower. Um, that's basically two duck eggs, 250 grams ish of uh, strong white flour put through on a number six on the pasta roller then the spaghetti cutter so we're also going to need some shallots just chopped that's about two shallots one packet of uh, nice cherry tomatoes I get these from Lidl's they're called marvelous tomatoes there you go uh, it's about 300 grams minus the two that I pinched um, just chop them up into four pieces that's all you need to do a nice good handful or so of wild garlic I'm about to show you a little video of how of where to grow the garlic do grow it it's fantastic every year you get treats okay so that's the wild garlic in the garden um, my wife just planted seeds it comes back every year it's absolutely delicious Good for sauces, soups, salads, um, just munching as you walk past. So the water's nearly boiling. We're also using some um, rapeseed pizza oil. You can use olive oil or garlic oil, whatever you like. This one's got chili, garlic and um, oregano in it. It's just a nice base for the sort of dish. So we're waiting for the water to come up to temperature and then we'll start cooking. So we're going to go in with a couple of tablespoons of um, rapeseed oil, the peat season one. Now the shallots, and we're going to sweat these until they're, they change smell, they don't smell raw, the sweetness comes out. Whenever you cook shallots like that, always immediately add some nice sea salt. It helps to bring out the natural sugars helps them to release the sweetnesses. So we'll just let those cook for a little while. There you go, they've cooked for, a, that was about three minutes. Just water's nearly boiling. If you're using dried pasta, I will put it on now, rather than, because my one only takes about two minutes to cook. So we're going to throw in the tomatoes now. There we go. And then again, we're going to add some sea salt. Always add a little bit of salt each time you add something as you're cooking a dish. Um, you hear people talk about layers of fla flavour. That's what they're talking about. So we're layering up the flavours as we go. So we're going to let all the juices come out of those. Now you don't want it to be wet. It's quite a dry dish. So they're softened. You can see the water's boiling. Going to go in with the pasta now. And the pasta is really going to take less than two minutes, probably only a minute. It's very fine. It's very fresh. Obviously, if you've got dried, it's going to take you 14, 15 minutes to cook it. But you're only cooking it three quarters of the way through. We want to finish it in the tomatoes so that it absorbs more of the flavour. We still haven't put the garlic in yet. We're going to wait until the pasta's cooked. There we go. So that's just about cooked. So we're going to transfer it over now. Never drain the pasta. Always lift it out into the sauce. It adds nice amount of moisture and also you never know when you're going to need the, the, the starchy water to, to loosen the, the pasta up a bit. Um, that also had salt in it, that um, water. It's always good to spill some spaghetti on the stove as well. I'm good at making a mess. So once that's all in, we're just going to give that a little toss up, get it nice and mixed, and throw in the wild garlic. I didn't want that tomato. There we go, just tossing it through, keeping an eye on the moisture. 
in with the wild garlic. You don't want to overcook the wild garlic because you'll lose that pungent flavour. Just a wee mix there, maybe another toss off, get it nicely covered. If it dries out too much, take a little bit of the pasta water, add it to it, and that will give it a bit more sauce. But as I say, you want a fairly dry dish. Essentially, that's it. It's finished. All we've got to do now is just serve it up, um, sprinkle it with a little bit of Parmesan cheese, and away you go. This is similar to a lot of other Italian dishes. Um, there's a lovely one with um, capers and fresh mint. It's very similar, just as smart, really worth trying.